Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'la habita fillah Very important as a form of dhikr And a protection For you and your family To protect you from everything From the evil of mankind And the evil of jinn is what is known as uh, the Mo'idatain, meaning the things, the two surahs in which one uh, is, is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is seeking refuge in Allah from evil. And these surahs should be recited three times in the day and three times in the night. And there are many a hadith would illustrate the importance of the Mu'adhatayn. Well, what is of utmost importance is that you integrate these in your daily schedule in order to protect yourself. And the first surah, and this is along with Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad Allahu Samad Lam Yalid Wa Lam Yulad Wa Lam Yakul Lahu Kufuan Ahad So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says which is Surah Al-Ikhlas and the Mu'idhatayn makes up of Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq, min sharri ma khalaq, wa min sharri ghasitayn itha waqab, wa min sharri nafathati fil uqad, wa min sharri hasidin itha hasad. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Nas, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas, malik al-nas, ilah al-nas, min sharri al-waswasil khunnas, الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. And for the meanings of those surahs, you can go back to the translation. But I just wanted to mention the very important benefit of just reciting those surahs as a form of protection and as a form of ruqya of order to protect oneself and to try to heal oneself from the ayn and from protection from the jinn and protection from evil of other people. So the benefits of those surahs as Imam uh, Shokani mentioned Rahmatullah and before Imam Shokani's statement uh, that these surahs were done by the were recited by the Prophet that's first and foremost. So it is adherence to the sunnah of the Prophet by reciting these surahs as a form of protection for yourself to protect yourself from sharr. And that this is sufficient because the Messenger of Allah وسلم, did it. So it is from the sunnah and that there's only good that comes from the sunnah of the Prophet. Imam Ashokani said, وَفِي hadith دَلِيلٌ على أن تلاوة هذه سورة هذه سور عند المساء وعند الصباح تكفي التالي من كل شيء يخشى منه كائن من كان. Imam Shokani said, رحمة الله عليه. He said in his book uh, entitled تحفة الذاكرين. He said in this hadith, talking about the hadith mentioning the uh, the Mu'ad the Tain. He said, there is, this is evidence that reciting these verses, these chapters, these short chapters, in the morning and in the evening is sufficient from everything one is fearful of, no matter what they are afraid of, no matter what it is. وَقَدْ كَانَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَتَعَوِّذْ مِنْ أَعْيَانِ الْجَنِّ الْجَنِّ وَعَيْنِ النَّاسِ فَلَمَّا نَزَلَتْ الْمَوْعِدَةَ أَخَذَ بِهِمَا 
wa tark ma siwahima o siwahuma the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam used to recite the mo the these uh, before the revelation of these surahs the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam used to seek refuge in Allah from specific individuals and from specific jinn to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from specific uh, individuals in a specific jinn. After these surahs were revealed, the Prophet wasallam recited them and he left anything other than that as a practice from seeking refuge in, uh, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from specific individuals or what have you. So it shows us the importance of again following the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the importance of the Mu'idatain meaning to uh, these surahs which Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas that these surahs are seeking refuge in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala which is Tawheed and actualizing Tawheed Tawheed uh, Al-Rububiyya and Tawheed uh, Al-Uluhiyya because these are acts of ibadah that these are forms of ibadah and a glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that this is a means of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking his refuge and protection from evil from the evil of mankind and jinn so it's imperative that we strive our utmost to integrate that in our lives and use that as a means of protecting ourselves in our families and protecting ourselves from the evil eye of people and protecting ourselves from any and all forms of shar. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from every kind of evil and grant us every kind of good. And Allahumma inni as'alaka hubbuk wa hubbuk may hubbuk وَحُبَّ لِكُلِّ عَمَلٍ بَلَّغَنِي حُبَّكَ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَمَ